Convert mixed customary units. Okay, that sounds good. So how many quarts, or how many gallons in quarts is 15 quarts? Okay, so we've got 15 quarts. This is really secretly a uh, improper fractions to mix number type question, but let's draw a picture to do this, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Why did I do it in fours? Well, every four quarts is a gallon, right? So this is three gallons and three quarts. This is a great way of thinking about mixed numbers and improper fractions, because what we're really saying is 15 fourths. So how do we turn that into a mixed number? We do 15 divided by four, we get three. This gives us a 12, we get three left over. So we have three remainder three. So that's gonna give us three and three fourths. But that's exactly what this says, right? Three gallons and three quarts. You know, another smart way to do it would be to say 16 quarts is four gallons. So this is exactly one quart less than that. So it'd be not four, but three gallons, and then almost four quarts. Okay, so how about a pint? Well, how many pints are there in a quart? The way I think about it is a pint is two cups and a quart is four cups. I don't know why I think of it that way. So there are two, point, two pints in a quart. So let's just do this one by drawing it out. Two pints and a quart, so that's one quart and one pint. Two pints in a quart. Now I'm checking myself. So one quart and one pint. All right, how many feet are there in a yard? Three feet equals one yard. So nine yards is nine times three feet, or 27 feet. All right, this is the other thing, right? So 15 feet, right? So we can do our mixed number, we could do this the mixed number way. So 15 divided by three, right, because they're three feet in a yard. Well, there's, this isn't even a mixed number. This is just five yards, right? So 15 divided by three is five. There's no remainder. So it's just five yards. And zero feet. Two yards and zero feet is two times three feet or six feet. Fifty-eight ounces. Okay, so there's sixteen ounces in a pound. So if we divide the number of ounces by sixteen, we should get a window into how many pounds we have. So three, three times six is eighteen, Right, so we have three times one is three, so 48 gives us 10 here. So we have three remainder 10. So we get three, sorry, there's no, oh, well, that's just for the remainder, but you can ignore that. So there's three pounds, and then there are 10 ounces left over. Okay, so how many gallons at three quarts equals 19 quarts? Well, you could probably guess here, right? One gallon, because that'll give you 16 quarts plus three quarts. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's way wrong. I'm, I said thought cups. Sorry about that. Okay, so how many gallons? Let's just work this out. So 19 quarts, so four quarts equals one gallon. So we could tell it's going to be four gallons, but we will go through the math. So 19 divided by four for the number of quarts in a gallon 
gives us 4 times 4 is 16, remainder 3. So there are four full gallons in 19 quarts, and then there are three extra quarts left over. So four, four gallons. Seven gallons and zero quarts equals how many quarts? Well, again, there are four quarts in a gallon, so it's just seven times four equals 28. Fifty six inches is how many feet and eight inches? So we say fifty six. There are how many inches in a foot? Twelve. So we divide by twelve and we say, okay, we get four full feet in there. And we could be done, right? We know it's gotta work out. So we could we don't have to go further, but you know, we want to do it for ourselves. So forty eight. Sixteen minus eight gives us eight. So we have four remainder eight. So it's four full feet and then eight inches, but that had to be eight, but it's nice to check. So the answer is four. Four feet and eight inches. Okay, how many yards and zero feet equals 12 feet? Okay, so 12 feet. How many yards, how many feet in a yard? Three. So we take our 12 feet, we divide by three to get yards. We get four and we go, oh, there's, there's no feet, there are no feet left over. So it's just four yards and zero feet left over. So 12 feet is four yards. Okay, well, you know, whenever you're, talking about units of liquid or distance or anything like that with your friends or your parents. Um, yeah, try to do some of the conversions just for fun. See how quick you can get with them. All right. See you next time.